forjé No ocupo de nadie, así mismo me lo busqué Yo pongo la paz y mi mente de pronto se inspira Pues canto lo que me nace y no lo que un puto me diga Que se enoje la vecina What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel We are on the way to go pick up Hugo's car from Elite Performance uh, Hugo decided to change all the turbo setup He went from the Sidewander to a uh, Tuner Geeks manifold with a V band everywhere. So uh, we were doing some work on the intercooler piping, the exhaust, some uh, powder coating stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, trailer and then head over to uh, Elite Performance and then pick up the car. And then probably go and drop it off to Google's house so he can finish some of the uh, vacuum lines and the oil feed line. And then hopefully by the weekend we'll be on the dyno and go from there. So let me get, get, get going and hook up the trailer and then I'll show you again a little bit when we pick it up. Up in the SRT, Drake on his ad, put him up on the T. My nigga shooter, they spin with no feet. I could do shit that you can in my sleep. I ball like LeBron when he play for the heat. Get to the bray, I don't care if it's weak. You not a killer, you aim at the feet. Stay on the side, I'm gon' take you a seat. Fuck on this hoe, then I take me a leak. As soon as I leave, she's I chain the sheet. She say I sound good, it's the band for the feet. Feel like I'm LA, I'm playing for key. Hit me a swipe any day of the week, but still on the trap, moon bow with the heat. You niggas can't catch up, ain't know what you mean. Dick like too exotic to be in my jeans. To band for the going and matching my teeth. I'm smoking exotic, the wood with the keys. Lay mad down, cause this shit got me geek. Don't come in the gang, cause this shit running D. Had to put on the clean, now nah, nigga elite. Running these street, this shit hurting my feet. I'm spending this money, and nigga ain't cheap. PTSD, better watch where you reach. Up, up, up in the SRT. Drake on his ass, put him up on the T. My nigga shooter, they spin with no feet. I can do shit that you can in my sleep. I ball like And we are here. Let's get the trailer ready for Hugo's car so we can put it in. Let's go check it out. Elite performance. Oh shit, that's the beast. All right guys. We live in elite performance. Shout out to Irwin and all the crew for all the help. This is the downpipe coated, ceramic coated. Um, I don't know if I have pictures of this, but it was all rusted inside. Cause it's like a regular steel, it's not like stainless steel or anything like that. We already got the car in the trailer. So uh, yeah, we're good. Let me get in the trailer and turn the lights on so you can see what we're doing. Uh, Ugo, decide to switch the whole setup huh? so it's no no longer a sidewander setup it's got a tuner geeks a tooler manifold b-band different turbo um, all the good stuff so all right so check it out it's coated on the inside the outside pretty good um, We'll put the intake outside. That's gonna be the, the turbo um, intake, just so he can get some fresh air. Maybe later on we, we add a little elbow, and then he did this badass um, carbon fiber little block off. So this is how it looks now. This, this is gonna be gone. We're gonna be taking this intercooler, but here's the intake. Um, it's got a bolt right there that we're gonna tighten pretty good, put a clamp, and we should be good to go. And then the dumper is gonna come out through here. Um, and uh, we just had to move the bung from here to here. Oh, there you go. From here to here. 
because this one was too close to the fuel pressure regulator right there so i'm just gonna plug that one back on and put the wideband sensor on here and then we should be good to go so yeah let me start heading to Google's house and uh, drop it off run the uh, the oil line put the different intercooler with the brackets shout out to Tony um, I was looking for some brackets because this one has no brackets for the OEM intercooler so uh, we, we're going with an AGP intercooler uh, I think it's a four and a half the old, the old school one so we already sold this kit we're gonna put the other one in we're gonna put the brackets we already have all the pipes uh irwin also um fixed some pipe so we got this pipe i had this pipe already so we just put a, a bunk for a gm um integer temp sensor and then he just modified the stock pipe to fit the turbo like perfect and then we're gonna clean up all this shit up and get it ready for get ready for dyno so we'll see Hopefully everything goes good. So let me start around to Ugo's house and then I'll show you over there. close because it's late we just need to turn it on to make sure it's good but uh yeah this is the new setup Woo, look at all the smoke i don't know if you can see all the smoke but fuck. <laughs> fucking nice fucking burning and everything so man how's it feel <laughs> good but it's a long fucking day. yeah fuck it's it. rush but hopefully it's um it. let's see 10 47 Oh, we got the trailer there somewhere so finally we cleaned up we mounted the hall tech the fuse box the y band put the wires all the way um change a whole bunch of stuff on yeah the change the whole fucking setup the whole setup uh different turbo different manifold we got this intake um just so we can you know sit outside the hood to get some fresh air now we have all this area here um we're gonna have to cut the hood because the pipe is hitting so what we're gonna do for tomorrow we're gonna take it off what the hood yeah just take it off and then cut a little piece here like four inches and then but for the dyno we're just gonna take it off yeah yeah for the dyno we're just gonna take it off so yeah we're gonna go on the dyno tomorrow hopefully everything goes good i have to run a few more lines but we just wanted to turn it on to make sure that everything was good and it sounds pretty good everything is reading right so yeah we got cooling we're cooling right yeah we got cooling, we got cooling. it just hasn't got enough to temp but i put like almost two two gallons they're good the the one approved for the racetrack yeah. so so yeah tomorrow we're gonna take it to the dyno fucking 8 30 in the morning and uh, and see we have some fucking good numbers We'll see. So, yeah, this is a new setup. New turbo in the back, no more sidewinder. It's got all these extra room right here. Normal intercooler? <laughs> yeah, regular four and a half inch intercooler. Um, which I think is what? The AGP, the old school AGP? Yeah, I think it's the old school AGP. It's four and a half, but it got the cast end tanks. I'm yeah. sorry, the uh, aluminum instead of cast. Yeah. I think it's like the first version. That was, yeah, that was like the first version. So. Let's get to the dyno. Let me finish this up and then uh, we start recording tomorrow on the dyno.
mí eso es way too big, ese fucking magnet. Y el sensor no es muy fuerte, es bien big ese sensor. Ajá, que es. Well, guys, like always, freaking neons and their problems. Uh, we came to the dyno, everything was pretty good until we started doing some, you know, high reps or whatever. Um, we didn't even make a one pass at all. We started doing some high rev and we noticed that the sink on the crank and cam start acting up so pretty much same problem that we'll be having um we find out that the magnet there was something wrong with the magnet so we put a new magnet on it same thing uh we tried to move the magnet and, and you know all kinds of stuff and nothing worked so we decided to stop and we were talking about making a custom um like a trigger wheel this is gonna go on the cam and we're gonna read signal pretty much crank and cam from that one um, custom wheel that we're gonna put at the end of the cam with two sensors uh, we're probably gonna be using some Honda uh, K-Series sensors uh, they're pretty strong um, on the way of reading and then we're gonna use some really small magnets um, and then hopefully that will fix our problem because we having this problem with my car and now we're having the problem with my brother's car so it's gonna take maybe about a week or two to get it done and then of course we're gonna do some testing some uh, 3d printing and then go from there so yeah again we're not gonna make it to ifl so it is what it is it is what it is it's better to not risk it and, and do it right and you know not try to tune it with something wrong so hopefully after we do this, it's gonna be something like a set. So the two sensors are gonna be sitting on the same uh, adapter and the wheel is gonna be solid. So it's no way of timing, uh, flexing or anything like that. It's, it's gonna be fixed. It's gonna be signal always constant. So we shouldn't have any problem. So I'm gonna have to wire up two pigtails for two cam sensors for our K-series into the Neon, which is really simple, three wires. And then go from there so stay tuned and hopefully we'll see a dyno and a truck video on Uber's car so please like subscribe share and hopefully we we'll put some better videos out there because it's nothing but fucking problems but uh we will get it we'll get it so until next time